Hi everyone, welcome back to A Bar Above. And today we're gonna to be answering a question uh, from one of our viewers, and they wanted to know a little bit more about how to find a really cool garnish for your cocktail. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, so stay tuned. So before we go too far, there's a couple things I have to confess to everybody. Um, first of all, I love my job. I love what I do. I love cocktail design and coming up with really new, fun, creative cocktails. Um, but there's two struggles I've always had. And I've gotten a lot better with them over the years, but um, I have a feeling this is probably something that a lot of bartenders face as well. So whenever you create a new cocktail, um, you know, that's always the fun part. But then you have to name it, which is something I have always been very, very bad at, let's say. Um, and garnish, coming up with car, uh, cocktail uh, garnishes. So recently I've come across a couple of really cool um, resources that have really helped me in the, um, the presentation portion of cocktails. So I'll share with you a couple of the resources I have um, and also just some general ideas of other creative ways of looking at cocktail garnishes. The first thing you have to really think about is garnishing is not just that piece of fruit that hangs off the edge of a cocktail. It's the entire cocktail. It's the way it's presented, the glassware, um, every little detail about how you're putting that drink in front of a guest is part of the whole garnish and presentation portion of it. Um, so the first thing that we really focus on is glassware. So imagine you walk into a craft cocktail bar and you order an old fashioned for $15. There's a couple assumptions that you're going to be making. First of all, the bourbon or rye that they're using in there better be really good. Uh, the other thing is that it better be a really well crafted cocktail. There, there should not be anything wrong with it if it's $15. Um, so imagine you get the cocktail and it's served in a glass like this. You know, you have one really nice round or square ice cube in there. It's beautiful, orange peel, maritino cherry, the whole nine yards. Um, there could even be, I don't know, leprechaun smoke coming out of the top. Um, but your perception will be extremely different if the cocktail is delivered in something a little bit more ornate and a little bit more over the top as far as the glassware goes. Um, so your sense of value and your sense of kind of satisfaction could very well be elevated by choosing a different style of glassware. So as we all know, ice is an extremely important portion of the cocktail because you know 30% of it is is getting diluted into the drink on average and um, you want that to be a really great ice cube. Um, typically a lot of the cold draft is being used right now, um, really dense ice cube. Um, but if you have the opportunity to use a freezer behind your bar or somewhere in the vicinity, you have a lot of new options for you. Um, my wife came up with a really cool idea that's starting to kind of catch on, um, I've seen it in a couple of craft bars recently, um, is the idea of kind of the morphing cocktail. So essentially you freeze um, fruit juice or some kind of acid or anything in ice and as it melts it changes the balance of the cocktail. So it could be really cool. Something that starts off really sweet, turns really sour towards the end, and it's a whole different kind of spectrum of you know, drink um, throughout the entire time you're enjoying it. So that is one thing. You can also freeze a lot of really cool stuff in ice to really increase the presentation. So edible flowers, spices, herbs, peppers, you know, you can get really creative on what you freeze inside the ice there. Um, so ice can be a really important thing. And it can be really simple as like um, having a mint julep with a mountain of crushed ice on top of it versus a mint julep that's served with one round cube you know, your, your presentation and your wow factor is very different between those two things. Now one of the other things to keep in mind is that you're, as you're designing cocktails, um, many of the ingredients kind of cancel each other out as far as the colors go. So if you put a red ingredient with an orange ingredient, it's going to turn brown. Um, so one of the things I've done in the past that's really helped me out is actually pay attention to the gradient of the alcohol and, sp and the mixer that you're using. So for example, if you have something that's really heavy and dense, like a liqueur, um, you can add that to the bottom of the glass, put your ice in, and then add the mixer over the top of it um, and almost create a two-part cocktail. Um, and what this will do is give you a nice separation of color between those two ingredients and create a real high contrast um, cocktail. Now that we're on to kind of the final garnishes, what kind of hangs over the edges and you know what is right on top, there are so many creative ways to do this. You know, try incorporating some of the ingredients that are actually in the cocktail. Um, don't be afraid to really have fun with it, experiment, and 
you know, have a good time with it. I remember one of the, my favorite ones that all the bartenders uh, that I was working with hated me for was one year we actually created a apple flavored Pisco sour with cider and a whole bunch of other things. It was really, really tasty, but the presentation on it was really a lot of fun. So we got an apple, we melon balled it so it was perfectly round, dipped it in some sugar, coated it in um, dark Demerara sugar, and brulee it to order. It was a pain in the ass, but it was such a cool presentation. Um, but yeah, you have a, two or three of those in your, uh, in your order, and you know, you're going to hate the guy that creates it. There are a ton of resources out there for coming up with really creative cocktail um, garnishes. Um, the first thing is Google Images. So if you type in, you know, cocktail garnish and just start scrolling through these images, you're going to see a lot of really cool presentation pieces. Um, the other thing to, to remember is that Pinterest, I know, yeah, Pinterest, is absolutely fantastic for coming up with creative um, garnishes for cocktails. Don't judge me. Pinterest is awesome for cocktail design. Um, so yeah, those are a couple of the resources I like to use. And like I said, you know, have fun with it. The garnish should be really amazing. Have a lot of fun and really draw people in because nothing sells a cocktail like how it looks. So uh, yeah, we'll have some more videos in the future. I really hope this helps. Um, but until the next video, have a great shift, everyone, and cheers. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Find us on Google+. Plus or visit us at abarabove.com.